Good evening. This is Linda West, and I'm so excited to talk about this topic. It's <laughs> but it is, you know, follow up. I think the reason it's a good topic for me because I was always terrible, terrible, absolutely terrible at follow up. I don't know about you, but I would go to networking events. I would network with people. I would walk home with 10 or 15 business cards. And then they sat on my table for, you know, a month, two months, three months waiting for me to input them. In the meantime, 15 or 20 more were getting toppled on top of those. By the time I actually had time to sit down with all my cards to see how many cards I had and to get them input into a system, into a freaking system, it was about 1,500 cards. And they did nothing for me while they were sitting there, you know, in um, on top of my desk. So anyway, this is Linda West and I'm here today to, oh wait, get that out of there. <clears throat> I'm here today to talk about a system that I use. It's a ref um, not a referral system. I'm sorry. Uh, a way to <clears throat> track your clients, track your follow-up. Also to keep track of so many different things. I love this system. It's called Trello. It's uh, really simple. You go to up top here, you see download Trello at livinglive.tv slash Trello. They do have an affiliate program. So that's an affiliate link for me. Um, so livinglive.tv slash Trello. It's, um, they actually have a free version and then they have a $5 a month version. I have the $5 a month version. I don't really understand exactly what the differences are because I didn't really dive into it. I figured for five bucks a month, I'll do it anyway, because I needed something that could help me to track my leads. Four years, four years, I've been meeting people. Four years, I've been not following up. You need to follow up. That's where you're going to make money in your business. Are you in business to make money or just to make friends? Are you in business to make money and friends? Awesome. Are you in business and just to make friends? I doubt it. So this follow-up system is a system that I finally discovered for myself. I've tried many, many systems. I've tried, uh, you know, Take, I don't, I just, I've tried so many systems. There are a lot of different follow up systems out there. Now, this one works for me because it's simple. I can do it on my computer and I can do it on my phone. That's one thing I love about it is because if I'm mobile and I want to update something, I don't have to wait till I get home to do it because then I won't do it. I just know myself really well. I won't do it. So, let me see, I got this little note here. What's this thing? Go away. Go away. Okay. Oops. Sorry, that's not supposed to be on the screen yet. <laughs> Uh, but welcome. This is Linda West with Living Live. And tonight I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics again, which is following up. And the reason it's my favorite topic, because when you follow up, that's when you actually can make some sales. That's when you can actually change somebody's life. So I'm here today to talk to you about a system that works for me. And I'm really hoping that it'll work for you. Now, I do have some notes here to make sure I don't miss anything. So I'll be looking down periodically to see what the heck I'm doing. And I see we got Patty in the house. Hello, Patty. Nadia in the house. Hello, Nadia. Good to see you guys. Um, so tonight, let me see. Oh, you know, when you get a chance, go like my page, please. You know, Living Life Show. I'm working on growing it to 50,000 followers. So while you're there at it, liking it, go ahead and follow too. <laughs> because when you follow, I found this out. Got a really good Facebook tip for you guys for pages. When you have a Facebook page, if people like your page, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be notified when you're posting something, when you're posting a live video, whether it's uh, just a post or what have you. But if you ask, if they're following you, they are more than likely to get a notification that you're doing something. So instead of asking people to like your page after I just got like 20,000 likes on my page and I took a Facebook ad out to get those likes, now I should have realized I should have had them follow me instead of like me. But you learn as you go, right? Okay, so uh, one of the things I want to talk about as far as um, um, networking is make sure that when you're out networking, that you get permission, you know, get their card and ask them if it's okay to put them, to put them in like your, like you have an email system before you put them in your email system. I say that because oftentimes I'll attend networking events, you know, I exchange cards with somebody and next thing I know, I'm on their email list and I don't appreciate that because they didn't ask me and I don't do that to other people. Um, at the beginning I did because I didn't know, you know, I just thought that was the thing. So yes, Patty, thank you so much. I love how you always put the links in for me. I really appreciate that. Um, so make sure you just ask them if it's okay to put them on your email list. And then let's see the next thing. Okay, after you go to networking events and you have all these business cards, what are you going to do with them, right? You're going to throw them in a box. 
That's not going to do you any good. Why collect them if they're just going to sit in a box? You might as well do something with them. And so creating a follow-up system is really, really important to make sure that you can follow up those, with those people because they want you to follow up with them for the most part. Most of them, hopefully, if you're networking properly, hopefully you made real, real connections with people who really want what you have or people that you really want what they have. So since you've made real connections, then you have a follow-up system that's going to help you to connect back to, back with them. But if you're not connecting, if you're not following up, you're throwing away money. Okay, so then question here, how often should I follow up? This is a question I hear often. How often should I follow up? Well, one of my mentors, Greg Reed, amazing guy, he said, Linda, you think too much. So the bottom line is, if you're thinking about them, follow up with them. If you're, if they're on your list to follow up with, then follow up with them. Don't worry about, oh, it's not dating. This isn't dating. And actually there's no right or wrong answer with dating either, right? So it's not like, okay, I'm said, I saw them at the networking event on Monday. Um, I sent them a follow up email on Tuesday. So I should really wait three days because I want to make sure I'm not pushy. No, just reach out to them because nine times out of 10, people aren't following up anyway. So just the fact that you're following up is going to set you apart. So follow up. If you want to follow up with them a day later, follow up on the day later. If it's annoying to them, whatever, that's not your person. It's plain and simple, plain and simple, just like that. <clears throat> okay. So I wanted to show you, um, so again, I have my, my referral link there. You guys, you know, go ahead and click on that. I'll click on it. Um, type it up. Where, where is it? I got myself a little confused here. Oh, this new, oh, up on the top there, <laughs> download Trello. This is so cool. See how I can put my hand over it? And then I'll show you this one here. I'm, I'm just excited about this because this is a cool feature that they have here on StreamYard, which is the platform I'm using right now. So here, like here, you can't see me. It's just literally covering everything. It's an overlay. Well, this one here is also an overlay, but it's a transparent overlay. And so you can create anything you want anywhere on here. I could put flowers on here. Actually, I could put like, if I wanted to have my background on here, I could create, I'm like, oh, I could create my whole background right here so that when you're looking at me, you could see my, um, like my logo and branding and everything. That's what I'm going to do when I get it all done. So this is just a lot of fun. Um, and that is done in Google, Google slides. And then you make it transparent. So you make sure that the slide is transparent. So that's really cool. And then oh, before I head on to the training, I want to share with you StreamYard. I want to thank StreamYard. It's an awesome program. I love it. StreamYard, livinglive.tv slash StreamYard. Go there if you're liking this platform and liking some of the things that I'm able to show you on the screen because that's all StreamYard is doing that. Now I can have up to six people on the screen with me. Well, six total. So me and five more people up on the screen with me, which is another cool feature that StreamYard has. So I just wanted to share that before I go any further. Um, let's see. Oh, <clears throat> I'm coming over a cold. And so my throat, I might start coughing a little bit here. I feel it coming on, but I'll do my best to keep my voice, you know, quiet so that I don't get, I get so excited, you know, when I get excited, I start coughing. So <laughs> I have to try to not get excited tonight. Oh, I wanted to tell you this, that the training that I'm doing right now is only going to be available to those of you not in the next level experiential mastermind. So those who are in the next level experiential mastermind, this is going to be available to you forever because it's going to be in the group. But if you're not in that next level experiential mastermind, this, um, this, training here is going to disappear from here January 6th, 2019 at uh, 12 o'clock Pacific time. So I just want you to know that that's going to disappear. If you're interested in joining up for the next level experiential mastermind, it's for women only. Sorry, fellas, but it is a women only group. And so it's nlemastermind.com. Enter the code 80 to get 80% discount today. 80% off. It's normally $500. So that means only $100 a month. So go ahead and, and do that. So today we're going to talk about, you know, creating a follow-up system. We're going to talk about tracking clients and we're going to tr talk about using this follow-up system as a team system. So you can actually share it with people on your team and you guys can update and everything. Now the program again is called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. And I'll put that up there again. See the Trello, Trello dot I'm slash Trello, livinglive.tv slash Trello. Okay, let's see what Patty says here. 
We've got Google Slides, Living Live, t TV slash StreamYard. Awesome. Okay. Nat Nadia says, most of the time I give people my phone and I ask them to input their contact info, which is awesome. The thing is, I don't go further with them, especially when I know they don't have oily skin. Okay. Well, cool. Right. So no excuse to follow up. So what do you, what you're saying is great. So here's the thing I'll, I'll share about that, Nadia. And I, I love that you put that. Thank you so much. I love using my phone also to put input the information in there, but I want to make sure that I follow up with them. If it's just in my phone, maybe I uh, Facebook friend them. You know, I know Patty does that. She'll Facebook friend people. So Facebook friending people is great too, but how are you following up? The follow-up is so important because that's how you're going to make your sales. So you want to make sure you follow up. The other thing is, um, especially if they don't have oily skin, but they know people have oily skin, right? So you're potentially losing potential clients for that. Not only that, um, Nadia, you're a connector. So what's happening is by you saying, if they don't have oily skin, I'm not going to help them. You know, that's, that's, uh, you're a connector. So this is a great way for you to have opportunity to connect these people with other people also. So as a connector, you know, it's really important for us to connect and make those connections with people. Um, you know, that's how I got 1500 cards is by connecting with people. I have connected a lot of people. It's funny because probably just about every card that I've gotten, just about every card that I've gotten, I remember the person and I remember what they do but I couldn't find the card because the card was sitting on my de my desk. I was like, I'm, I have a person for them. I want to connect them with somebody. And I go through all my cards like, ah, I can't find their card. So that wasn't a very good system that I had here. Okay, F you on personal message. Oh, follow up. Okay, F you. I wasn't sure what you meant by that. I was like, okay, Patty. Yeah, to you too. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to show you a couple of the Trello boards that I have first. So you can kind of get an idea of how you can use Trello in more than just following up. And then I'm going to show you um, how to create the follow-up system that I created. Unfortunately, I can't show you my, I was like, I'm going to just show them my follow-up system, but I can't really show it to you only because it's got all my potential clients on there. And so I want to protect their privacy. So that's the only reason I can't show that. So I'm going to share my screen now. And what we are going to look at is um, where'd it go? My Trello. Okay. Trello. So here is Trello. Um, I'll start here. When I log in, I get this here on the left-hand side. These are call, called boards. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through these top four boards that I've set aside. See, I have all these different boards that I've created. There's a whole bunch of them but I'm going to show you the top four. These are the ones I'm currently using. All these other ones were like, when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to organize it. So I just did what I thought I needed to do. And boy, was that a freaking nightmare and a mess. And it made me not like Trello, actually, until I um, talked to somebody else who showed me how they set theirs up. And I was like, ah, I finally get it. So this one here is the NLE Mastermind. Um, actually, I don't want to show that one. Sorry about that. I, I can't show that one. That's my clients. <laughs> but what that board is going to be is um, my my mastermind board. It's when I'm tracking my clients, what they're working on. I'm going to make sure that I have a tracking system for that. But I'll show you what we have here is I'm currently working on three collaboration books. And with the collaboration books, there's um, there's 13 people that are featured authors in the books. And I need to make sure I get everything from them in order for me to be able to make sure everything's on track with everybody. So what I do in that kind of um, situation is 13 lessons from action takers who change the world. That's one of the books. So I've, I'm just going to, what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you what you can do with it. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. Trust me at the end, we'll get to the end. And this is not an upsell by the way. This is not an upsell. So it's not like we're going to get to the end. I'm going to, oh, you got to buy my product. No, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So in 13 lessons from action takers who change the world, this is an example of in this book project, these are all of the different things that I need to do. And so I create this checklist of everything that needs to be done to make sure that when we've got everything checked off, that the book is done. So I see I need a little bit of work on that. It doesn't have everything I need. But then if I go into Taco Tuesday, this is my talk show called Taco Tuesday. It starts January 8th. I'm so excited about that. And actually, I'm hoping you guys can see me. Oh, crap. I'm not showing my screen. <laughs> okay. Did somebody, 
You guys didn't tell me. <laughs> Thank you. That's so awesome. Okay, I'm going to go back to, so you didn't see the one I shouldn't have showed you. That's good. Um, the collaboration books. So I'm looking at the collaboration books. Um, this is just a checklist of everything that I need to get done in order to make sure I can release the collaboration books. Okay, so then I'm going to show you the Taco Tuesday. This is, again, my talk show called Taco Tuesday. So how I've set this one up is this first um, column here is the two people who are my co-hosts on the show. And then the next column here, you see I've got a date, January 8th, near-death experiences. That's the title of my January 8th show. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm showing here. Okay, cool. Okay, we're all good. Oh, I forgot. I can solo this. A new thing I just found out about. You can solo something. Okay, so the uh, the next the first show, January 8th, is uh, near-death experiences, and I have two people who are being interviewed, or two different. This is a couple and one gentleman who are being interviewed about near death experiences they had recently. And so they're going to talk about their near death, death experiences, how they survived and some really, really great stuff about that. So what I did here, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to show you that. So Scarlett and David Heimbush, they're going to be one of the couples that we interview. And in here, I have a checklist of everything that I need to do in order to conduct this interview, all of these things I need to have done. Actually, I've already done that. So these are the things that I need to do. Do the same thing with Marcus. So here I have his bio up top. And then uh, the title of his is A Brush With Death because oh, his was like so scary. Um, well, every near-death experience, I imagine, is scary. But anyway, here's a, a checklist of all the things I need to do prior to the interview. You see there's a couple things I still need to do on his. And then we go to the next one. So January 15th is conquering the goal game. And so we're going to talk about goals. I'm going to be interviewing Steve Austin. So actually Anita, Mary, and I will be in interviewing Steve uh, Steve Austin, Dave Austin. And I see here um, it doesn't have a checklist. So watch this. This is I'm going to show you this is really cool. This is getting ahead of everything right now. But I just want to show you something you can do. So I need a checklist, right? Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and click on checklist. And I'm going to copy the items from... Um, the one I was just looking at, Scarlett. Scarlett and David Heimbush. I'm going to click add. Voila. The checklist is there. Isn't that cool? I mean, I hope you guys, you can't see my face, but but it's cool. <laughs> Trust me, it's cool. I got to see what you guys got going on. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so any, any ones that don't already have a checklist, I can just add them like that. And then on January 22nd, I'm interviewing a Holocaust survivor and the same thing. She doesn't have the checklist. So I would just click on checklist. I'm going to show you guys how to create the checklist later. But uh, for this, just for me showing you what you can do, I wanted to just quickly add those checklists because I might as well get some of my work done while I'm here. Okay. So that's just an example of what I do for my interviews. Now when I go to living live, which is where, again, I do all my interviews, um, conduct all my interviews. These are all the people that I'm scheduling for my interviews. So he, these are interviews pending right here. So these are all the people. Yes, Les Brown, Sharon Lecter, Jack Canfield, Jay Shetty, Shetty um, Tony Robbins. These are all interviews that I'm working on right now to get scheduled. So that's what's going on with all of that. But then I'm also conducting interviews on StreamYard in the StreamYard community. If you join our StreamYard community and you want to be interviewed by me in the community, then you would um, fill out a little form and then I have those people right here. So these are the people I'll be interviewing in the StreamYard community. Then when I'm done conducting my interviews, I go and I add, I move them over to the video interviewees that are done. I mark them done. And I'll show you how I do that as well. And then I move them on down the line to wherever they're going to be. So I'm doing a podcast called The Fearless Entrepreneurs. And so I have that column there and then my to-do list, which I need to work on because I'm not sure if that's in the right place. So that's examples right there of some of the things you can do. Um, really quickly, I'll show you a glimpse and only a glimpse of my follow-up system because, again, it has names on there. I'm not sure that I should show them all, but I'm just going to show you really quickly. We're going to look at it really quick. I'm going to drag it over. You can basically see it. This is what we're going to create tonight. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing that screen right now while I get out of there. Phew. Phew. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me get back to where I was. 
Okay. <laughs> I just didn't want to show that screen because, you know, uh, privacy. Okay. So now I'm going to take you back to the Trello screen. Now I'm actually going to show you how to create a Trello board. Oops. Darn it. I clicked the wrong thing. Hold on a second. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so this might look a little daunting to some of you, you know, but but oh. <laughs> you have to share the screen, Linda. Okay, so this might look a little daunting just because it's so many things, but this is just because I want to keep track of everything I'm doing, everything. So one thing you can do is um, click on that. Oh, that's right. Shoot, I wanted to share it with you this. So see, I have a template here. This template I use every single time I'm getting ready to conduct an interview or every single time somebody I sign somebody up to be interviewed by me or somebody uh, requests to be interviewed by me. So I'm going to, I created this template and I'm going to left click on it. This is the template that has all of the check, you know, check boxes that I need to go through when I conduct an interview. Yes, I do all of these things for every single interview I conduct. I just hired a VA today. So I'm going to, I'm looking forward to having my VA do that. But in addition to that, um, down below here, I have, you know, some information that I put like, um, just little information for me to help me know what to send to people. And I also just sharing with you guys, if you end up conducting interviews or something, this is a really great way to keep track of everything. So I created this, um, this document here, this Google doc, uh, let me see if it opens for you guys. It doesn't. Okay, hold on a second. I got to figure something out here. Hold on, hold on. Because I was sharing the wrong thing. Oh, my entire screen. Okay, here we go. Ah, okay. Wait, are we in there? We're in there. Okay, cool. I think you're seeing my email template. Are you? No, you're not. Okay, hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Don't worry, I'm used to this. Okay, Chrome tab, I'm going to do that instead. Okay, so the email templates. Okay, so this right here, um, there, this is an email template document that I created. So when I'm, when if there's somebody I want to interview on my show, I'll send them this email. Um, actually that's for somebody who wants to enter, wants me to interview them. I send them that email. And then I also have, you know, sample emails, sample questions that I might ask people on the show. Uh, I'm not doing that any longer. Uh, let's see here. So if they're, if I'm using, um, once I've created the link for them to join me on the show, I send them this email here. So the point is I have a bunch of different email templates that I have set up that makes it easy for me so that when I go to uh, to schedule them or when I go to send them emails about how to connect with me, that they're all right there. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And all of that is at here in, in um, Trello. Wait, come on. There we go. Kick the, I have to kick, click the right buttons. Okay, so that here, I, I put it as a comment here in my template. Now, the template, what's cool about this is, let's say, for example, okay, we'll say Patty, because Patty's here on the, you know, watching here. I wanted, I was going to interview Patty, right? Um, so I'm going to click on my template that has my entire checklist, and I'm going to click copy. And then here, there, this is just what I do. It's just an idea. I'm going to put Patty Mays. And then I'm going to go ahead and click her, add her to whatever list I want to do. So we're going to do the video interviews pending. And then I'll put her in a card number position three. I'll show you what that means. If you look over on the left-hand side here, you'll see template interview and then Les Brown. So what's going to happen is going to say template interview and Patty Mays now. See, because I put her in number three position. So now when I click on Patty's name, I have the entire checklist. It's all right there. Yeah, I have these uh, little notes that I have here, notes here. I have the link to the Google document with all the email templates that I've created. 
And then I would put the date, like, so say her interview is right now. Then I would put the date on there, and that's just for me so I can keep track of when they're doing it. Now, here's one thing I really like here is they have these labels that you can add. So what I do for my interviews is when I know for sure it's a go, I click it's a go. So that way when I look at it here, I can glance and see that Patty is a go. So Patty, let's get you set up for an interview. There, I'll just keep it there. It gets you set up for an interview. <laughs> That'll take care of that. So I'm going to click on that again to let it to make it disappear. Oh, and then like, so now I'm going to say Patty's tentative because we haven't set up a date or anything. So I would just put her as tentative. Sorry, and then take this date off of there. There she is. So you glance at it, I can see that it's tentative. Okay, so now let's go create a board. You guys ready to create a board? If you're ready to create a board or to watch how to create a board, you know, go ahead and comment with I'm ready in the comments below because I want to show you guys how to create this follow-up system. It's it's a really great way to you know make sure that you do follow up with these people. I want you to type in the comments, I'm ready, because I want to share with you how to do it. Okay, I don't see you typing fast enough, so I'm going to go on anyway. Okay, so uh, what you would do is after you've signed up for your Trello by going to, yay, Patty's ready, awesome, awesome, um, by by going to the um, livinglive.tv slash Trello, once you've signed up for your Trello, let me get that, get rid of that because there we go, so you guys can see the whole screen, is you're going to go to your board and it'll be blank. And up here on the right-hand side, there's a plus sign and you would click on create board. So here you would title your board. So let's say you're going to title your board follow up. Oops. Okay. Follow up and I'm going to call it test because I've already got one called follow up. Now, if you like a certain color, you can have your board be that color. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you. And then it has this extra little button here. You can, you know, so you can have a lot of different options of how you can make it look. So that's kind of cool. I'll just do purple for right now. And then I'm going to click create board. That's simple. I've just created a follow-up board. However, there's nothing in there, right? So on the follow-up system, what I've done, and it's going to seem like that is so ridiculously simple. Um, why is she doing that that way? Why, you know, making, making it too simple? So let me see. we got a comment here. I'm ready. Awesome. Natty is ready. Okay, so here, all I do is first second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm going to do them all. or do I, I don't need to do them all. These are just the days of the month. That's all they are. So now what's happened is I've created a calendar, basically. So now today, actually, here, I'm going to do one really quick here because uh, I met some people today, and I'll use a real-life example as my example. Oh, there's this guy I met. He was a DJ. He needs a DJ. He was really cool. I really liked him a lot. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I met him today, which is uh, January 3rd. So I go enter him, enter him under January 3rd. So say I went to a networking event and I went, met 10 people. I would put them all under January 3rd. So I'll show you exactly what you do. I enter his name and that's all I did is enter his name and I hit enter. So I type the name and I hit enter. And actually I met Another guy, I met Johnny. He's a farmer's agent, Junior. Johnny Fitzmaurice, Junior. And I also met Cam, mortgage loan officer. So these are the people I met today. So I'm already started on my uh, follow-up system with these guys. So what I do is I go back to Danny. And how do I communicate with people? Well, most people I communicate via text message or uh, Facebook. So I type in here, you know, met at networking event. I can't remember the name of it. Otherwise, oh, it's called San Diego's Best. San Diego's Best Networking Event. And then here I would put his phone number. I want to make it easy for me to find him. Even if he's in my, even if I put him in my contacts, I still want to make it easy for me to find here because when I go to actually follow up, everything has to be easy. So if I'm going to follow up by email, I would put his email in there and I don't usually do email. I usually do text messages. So, and if I got him as a Facebook friend, I would also put, you know, Facebook friend or something on there. So a Facebook friend, which I didn't, but and then I click save. So there we go. Danny is in there. And then I would write a comment here, DJ. 
uh, works weddings. He also said he's looking for wedding referrals. And I put that note because I am a connector also, and I want to make sure that when I connect somebody that um, I know why I'm connecting them. Or it's like, oh, I met this DJ. I can't remember what his name was. What's well, cool. So I'm going to click save. Um, I go back into Trello and I look for the word DJ. And it's actually going to find him. Wait, it didn't find It's found him, but we're. I don't know why it didn't show up. Okay, so that didn't work the way I thought. <laughs> so now here's what I like about this, especially because I have a whole bunch of different things I'm working on. So I'm working on my collaboration books. I'm working on Taco Tuesday. I'm working on my interviews on Living Live. I'm working on the Next Level Experiential Mastermind. I also do outside sales for Secret Knock. And so what I have done is these labels here, for example, let's say the... Um, Next Level Experiential Mastermind, um, I created a label for it. I created one called Secret Knock. And let's say that I met Danny, and or let's say um, referral source or referral. For me, that would mean me referring him out. Um, so let's say for Danny, I was like, you know what? He's a great candidate for Secret Knock because he's just a perfect fit. So what I would do is click that and mark him now as a Secret Knock candidate. You know, this In my mind, this is how this works as a secret knock candidate. Now, when I look at that, I always know who is a secret knock person. Let's say Johnny, for example, was, oh, he wouldn't be eligible for that because he's not a woman, <laughs> but for referral. So he'd be referral. I can always look and see referral, right? So here's what I do then at this point. I'm just going to close this over here. As I say, okay, I met him today. We talked briefly. Um, I didn't follow up with him yet. I want to follow up with him tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'm going to put on um, on one four. I'll follow up via text like that. And actually, John, Johnny, Johnny followed up with me. Followed, followed up. I don't know if that's a word with me on one three nineteen. And then I like to say how, because he actually did that via meetup. Because otherwise, I'm searching all over the place. Was it Facebook? Was it text message? Was it email? Was it phone? Was it, there's so many, was it LinkedIn? What was it? So then I'm like, okay, he followed with, up with me already, and I already followed up back with him. And so I'll follow up with him again on the 6th, just as an example. And I actually did, and then I responded. I didn't do this today because I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so that's basically the system. That is basically it. Is that simple or what? I mean, this, oh, I guess the part I forgot to share. <laughs> well, what basically the bottom line is every morning I get up and I go look at my stuff. And like, who do I need to follow up with today? And I have um, time blocking on my calendar I actually have time blocked out for follow-up. So I have like an hour a day for follow-up. So during that hour a day is I'm going to my Trello board, looking to see who I need to follow up with, and then I start following up with them. I don't, I'm not always able to follow up with everybody on that particular day. So then what I'll do is I'll just left-click, drag it. Oops, I can't do it there. Left-click, drag it, and drop it at the next place. And then to scroll around, it's just like a bar at the bottom. Move it around. Um, you can, if you want, you know, for your follow-ups, you can create a checklist. So let's say you wanted to create a checklist and in your checklist, it's going to be um, follow up in one day, one day after meeting or something. I don't know. I don't know how I would use this for follow-up. Um, and then it'd be follow-up four days or something. I don't, I don't think that would work very well. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't like it. But it might work for somebody, and you just have to make sure that you do it. You know, you have to know what days that means. You've got to figure everything out. <coughs> I'm into not having to figure too much stuff out. But it's really, it's really that simple. That's all I use. And ever since I started using this, my follow-up, like I said, it's not 100%, but it's vastly more than I did before, which was zero. 
So actually, since I started using this system, um, I see last month, my follow-ups equated to, I think it was $3,500. I'd have to go look at my numbers, but I think it was about $3,500, <coughs> which isn't like huge, right? But it's also, that's a great number. I think I'd be I think I'd be happy. I know I would be happy because I was happy. I think you'd be happy with an extra $3,500 that was sitting in your purse that you didn't do anything with for however long. Let's see. Nadia asked, do you use that for social media marketing content? You can. Um, I actually have that, Nadia. Great question. I actually do have that in one of my, is it here? I think it's here in my to-do list. So I have like memes and quotes. So I have a whole bunch of memes and quotes that I created. And so what I, what I do is every time I come up with a new um, quote, because I, I write a lot of quotes and stuff, I, I create in my head. When I think of something, I just come in here and I, and I write it down. Um, let me see. Last day is too late. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'll say weird stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I like that. That's a good quote. The last day is too late. So I just create these quotes and then it's, I'm sorry, not, um, yeah, not my to-do list on my memes and quotes. So just creating different cards for different things. So you can have social media. I don't even know what I have on my Facebook one. It's not very good. This is like a checklist of things that I need to make sure I do all the time that I am not doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is, this was a fun idea. Let's see here. Karaoke networking. What do you think? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I love karaoke. I love networking. What better way to bring people together than to, to do karaoke networking? But when you get up on to do a song, you get to introduce yourself every single time and you get to say something new about yourself. So people get to know about you as a human being before you actually start singing. I was like, karaoke networking, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Nadia Fleury uh, Avassance. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can use it for, you know, what, whatever ideas that you can come up with, use them. And I just wanted to show you some of the ways that I do it. So article ideas, I, these are some ideas that I've had. And so I went ahead and just put them into this Trello board called article ideas. That way, anytime I have an idea for an article, I just stick it in there. Anytime I have any quotes that I make up, I just stick them in here. It doesn't mean I use them all but it means at least I have them somewhere and not in my head swirling around trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions? If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And I actually should have started off by saying that. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I hope this training was helpful for you. Um, again, if you are not in the next level experiential mastermind group, you know, go ahead and go to nlemastermind.com and enter the code 80 for an 80% discount. So that makes it $100 a month. And that discount code expires January 8th at midnight Pacific time. So go check it out. It's really awesome. Again, check out StreamYard. Just really great stuff here that you know, is at your fingertips, a disposal for you to use. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Other than that, training is done. I try to make this one short. Oh yeah, stick around for next week, not next week, mark on your calendar, January 31st, where I'm going to show you how to create for free um, surveys, interview questions, a funnel system, taking payment, a voting system. I'm going to show you really quick like what I'm using uh, to do that using JotForm. And JotForm has so many different things you can, you can do. And in the second here, I'll show you exactly what it looks like that I'm using to get that out of there from screen, stop screen, da -da, bounce around. Okay, so this here, hold on. <clears throat> it's not going up there. Oh, details. Okay, so this here is the Next Level Experiential Mastermind. And some of the things I'm going to teach you are in here. So for example, you can put pictures. This here with uh, Amanda is a picture that I put in there. I actually created the picture in Canva, which is another amazing product, product that I'll be sharing about. And then you put these words up here. You can use different fonts and stuff um, and then put more pictures and stuff. But 
you could list everything that you've got going on with it. And then you can create a table. So I created this table, which was cool. I didn't even know it was a possibility. And then you can create a discount code. So for example, again, if you enter 80 here and apply it, see this goes down to $100 a month instead of 500. And then you can take their credit card details right here, right here on JotForm. And I'm using Stripe. Um, they have a whole bunch of other apps you can use to take money as well. And then also right here, you capture their name and their email address. You can capture their address to mail them something if you want to. And then you can have them sign. So they have to sign at the end. And another cool thing about it is all of this, I made it so it integrates with MailChimp, which also is another free program. Um, I it made it so it integrates with MailChimp so that when people sign up, they get an automatically email from MailChimp and then they're added to my mailing list for this program. So it's just really exciting all the things that you can do by using these platforms. And I will be training on a lot of different free uh, programs that I use because I'm always trying to find like what's the most economical way to do what a lot of other people are doing. So using JotForm, it's a great way to create a landing page, which is what that is, and then to uh, be able to, I guess it's capture things, capture people into your MailChimp um, or other a constant contact or whatever one you, I happen to use MailChimp because it's free and everything. And so capturing people into your funnel is what you're doing, putting them in your funnel. So let's see. Um, this is an incredible training. Thank you, Patty. I really appreciate that. Uh, if my voice was better, I think I would have been a little bit better. But you know, I, I try to show as much as possible and then bring it down to how you do it. And so the uh, the training that we do, again, on JotForm will be the same style, and I'll show you how I'm using it, and then I'll show you how you can use it. It's a really amazing program. Again, go to nlemastermind.com, enter the code 80 at checkout if this is before January 8th. Um, and for those in the NLE Mastermind, you guys, you don't have to pay for this. This is not disappearing for you. This is going to be in the group. So you guys, oh, let's see, we have another comment right here. Do you have a JotForm link? I don't think they did. I'd, let me check on that real quick uh, while I have you here. Might as well. Thanks for asking that question. You know, there's um, affiliate links for so many different things out there. If you have a program that you're using that you're sharing with people all the time, you know, you might as well tell them, you know, use the affiliate links. And actually, I do have an affiliate link for JotForm. I think I have. Let me see if I do this. Um, might as well use an affiliate link because like JotForm, it doesn't give me any money, but it does give me extra uh, rewards, like extra time. I guess, I'm, I'm not sure if it's time or what have you, but I'm going to put it in the comments. In the comments, the shop form. Yes, I do, Patty. Here it is. And again, I don't make any money off of the job form, <coughs> the job form, but it um, makes it so that that I get extra points. And I'm not sure how the points work, but but it is cool to have that. So there it is, the job form. It's a really crazy code. I need to make a, a short link for it. JotForm. It's actually JotForm. So you guys, I'm looking forward to training you on JotForm on, again, that is January 31st. Mark your calendar so that you can, how do I get that to go away? Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place here. There we go. Okay. Um, mark your calendar for January 31st at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Again, if you are in the NLE mastermind, um, this will not disappear. So it doesn't matter if you're able to attend live or uh, watch the replay by Sunday. So this will disappear on Sunday, January. Um, the one that we're training, we're watching right now, will disappear Sunday, January 6th at um, 12 p.m. Pacific time. So watch it as soon as you can. If you're hearing me say that now, you've already watched it. So that's good. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, Patty, yep. Job for training. Patty, you rock. You're my scribe, man. I'm going to keep you as my scribe. You're hired. Bye-bye <laughs> now.